uh, hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you that how basically you can fill out the google forms inside your google app script and insert this information inside your google docs and create dynamic files here so you can see that this is a simple form here google form and basically it contains three questions out there what is your name age and which country you belong to so you can see that guys we are saving all this information inside a table like structure this is spreadsheet here we are storing this information you can see here this is containing these information let me just fill out these entries so we have these three columns out there for the name age and country we have also storing the timestamp as well and after that guys it will automatically create these files inside our google drive and it will store this information inside this we have also got a template which basically stores this name age and country these are basically the template variables we are storing inside these double curly brackets so this name will be inserted dynamically name age country now let me say in, uh, just to insert this we fill out the name here john williamson if i write age let me put here and the country as well so you can just uh, the form is available you can see this is the unique link which is live on the internet you can just share this form with any persons around the world you can just take the information from the customer information form here the form is submitted you will see your response has been recorded and if i show you inside your spreadsheet automatically this data is inserted you will see the timestamp this is the name and this is the age and this is the country so whichever information that we submitted right here guys it is now it is received inside the google spreadsheet and now let me show you the google drive also you will see this exactly this file is created and you can see the data is constructed inside google docs you can print it out you can convert this to a pdf document as well so in this way you can take the user input data you just need to share this form with your users they will fill out the form let's suppose i insert another entry here click on submit and now you can see another record is inserted and if i check the automatically you will see this response has been recorded here name age country and once again a new entry will be added inside your google drive and automatically you will see that if i refresh it basically a new entry will be there you can see this is the new entry here so in this case guys you can dynamically generate google docs with dynamic data coming from these google forms and you can insert them into spreadsheet first of all this data is sent to the spreadsheet where we are storing all this data inside this table and then we are inserting this data which is stored inside spreadsheet to this google docs so all we are doing it we are running a simple google app script guys google app script if you don't know it's basically a platform which is provided by google which is used to interact with different google services such as youtube drive api google docs spreadsheet all that stuff so it's a scripting platform developed by google and first of all now to get started here you ha i have given all the source code in the description of this video here so if you want to get all the step by step instructions you can go to the description of this video and follow this step by and now guys in order to create this first of all you need to go to your google drive and basically we will be constructing a google form which will be able to take the input of the user so click on this new option here guys so this is the new option and click on the google form and first of all guys you need to create a folder where all this information will be stored so simply just create a folder which is uh, info and click on this create button so this will create a folder inside your google drive so this is the id of the folder that we want simply copy this id we will need this later on and here inside this folder guys we need to create a simple google form so simply go to the menu and just select here google form and basically you can rename this form to anywhere let's suppose i say here customer registration form so this is the name of the form you can also provide a description as well and after this guys basically you can uh, add questions here so i will add a question here what is your name so i asked this so you can also provide multiple choice questions checkbox also you can upload images as well but i will be selecting here short answer and here the user will answer the question you can add one more question here let's suppose uh, what is your age this will also be a short answer and third answer will be which country you belong to so this is a third question 
this will also be a short answer so these three questions are there guys now you need to go to responses and whenever the user submit the response you need to store all this information in the spreadsheet we will rename this spreadsheet to let's suppose customer and now click on this create button so this will create the spreadsheet guys and it will open it inside a new window and you can now see this automatically will contain these four fields out there timestamp name age and the country time steps will automatically be inserted which is the date and the time now you need to go to the extensions here guys and select here app script and here we will be writing our app script code here and also guys we also need to design the template for the google document google docs just write this and here you just need to go to google docs here and here click on this blank one and inside this we will insert a simple table guys we will be storing it so insert a table and it will be 2 by 3 yeah it will be I think this will be 2 by 3 table or I think what we need to do it is not 2 by 3 because we are storing 3 columns so we need 3 columns here 3 columns and 3 rows I think this will be enough name age country no let me select it once again i think name age country 2 comma 3 yes 2 comma 3 this one i need name age country yeah so this will be name here you will place the name here this will be age and this will be country and now to insert the dynamic one you will put here double curly bracket so this will be name so you can design complex forms here guys so i am just taking a very simple example here this can be any very complex form if you are building any sort of invoice if you are working in a company you want to design the salary slip you can design complex forms you can also change the background color as well all sort of designing you can done so you just need to basically copy this id guys that we will need this id after this you just need to go to this google app script here and basically we will now write the code which is required for this so first of all guys we will make a simple function which is a fill form this will be the function and inside this guys first of all we will take all these uh, three values first is a timestamp and this will be passed event object basically whenever you submit this form this event uh, object will be automatically passed here so right here first of all we will get the values like this e dot values 0 and now we will be getting the name by e dot values 1 and then we will be getting the age similarly e dot values and 2 and then we will be getting the country which is e dot values 3 so this will get the name name age country guys so automatically from the form and now we just need to get the actual file of the google docs so we can use this method get file by id and here you need to copy paste the id guys which is of this one simply copy this and paste it here and now guys we will be getting to the folder so google drive folder drive app so this time you will use get folder by id so whenever you created your folder in google drive you need to simply copy this id so simply copy this id guys and simply paste it here so now you will get the folder as well folder reference as well so now what we need to do guys just create some space here so that you can write your code so after this guys we just need to basically make a copy of the file of the google docs file so we will have this method make copy and basically we will name the file as h plus so whatever is the age of the person put a comma and then the name so this will be the name of the file and we will be storing it inside our folder this is a folder that we created so this file will be stored inside this folder after this guys we will get the data which is there inside this file we will simply call document app and this contains open by id so this will actually open the google docs document and we will get copy dot get id get id 
So basically it gets the ID of the file and it will copy, uh, sorry, open this file. After opening it guys, we will get the data by, we will get and we will store it inside body. So now to get the data, we will call this method get body. So this will actually return all the information which is stored inside your Google Docs, which is the name age country. Now we dynamically needs to replace these uh, name age country which is inside double curly brackets. So this is some placeholder variables. So now to do this, after we get this, we can use the replace text method, which is there, replace text. And inside this, inside double single quotes, we will replace this double curly brackets, which is the name with the actual name coming from the form, Google form. So again, we will replace text this time for the age and age will be passed here and again we will use the for the country so double quotes so make sure guys this placeholder variables need to be same here spelling need to be same and all that so please check here so inside country we need to insert the country that's it after this guys we need to save and close this file and this contains a method inside doc save and close so it will simply save and close the file that's all so after this guys this is all the re code required for this awesome application so it is communicating with all these three services spreadsheet google docs and google forms and now you can save this function here save this project and now inside this inside menu go to triggers option and here we need to add a trigger Triggers is something guys, whenever you do something inside Google Apps Script, basically you can add a trigger here and we need to execute this function. So simply select this, this would be a head here and right here from the spreadsheet, we will be taking the event and whenever the form submits, so we need to select the ONS form submit and notify immediately like this. So now click on save and it will ask for the permission. So once you do this, you will be asked for the permission. So it is loading the data. So it will take some time here. So it is saying script authorization failed. Please. Okay. First of all, guys, as you all know, we need to first of all run this. So just go to your editor and first of all, run this application. You need to grant the permission. So you need to this will first of all ask here. So you need to grant all the permissions. So simply do like this, click on allow and once you have all the permissions, you will be able to run your code. So now we can add a trigger simply by clicking add trigger and on form submit notify immediately and now click on save. Again, you need to grant the permission guys. It will ask for it. So simply go to this process. Allow. And now this will add a trigger whenever you submit your Google form, this information will be saved inside your spreadsheet. You can see that. And now we can simply when open this form here, guys, that we constructed. Basically, let me copy this URL. If you see here, this is the URL of the form here. And make sure that you are logging from a different account and uh, you can even say here incognito window. Let me open incognito and we paste it this link here of the form. So this form will open right here guys. You will see that and uh, this is a customer registration form here. You can see that you need to fill out the information. Let's suppose I fill out. Put here age and uh, click on submit and now you can see your response has been recorded and basically if I now check here one response has been received. You can see name, age, country. You can see that. And if I now check the Google sheet, you will see that the timestamp is automatically inserted. This is the name, age, country. If I check my Google Drive, you will see one file will be added. One customer is added here. You will see. If I now refresh it here, you can see that 25 comma if I see here, automatically the, those values will be replaced here. You can see name is replaced, age is replaced and country is also. So this was the template and inside these curly double curly brackets, the name age country has been replaced. So in this case, guys, you can design complex registration forms. You can also 
just design invoice passages that will be sent to your email addresses so this will save a lot of time because you can get the all these values user generated values you can also generate another response here like this so you can just create unlimited values guys so it is all automatic process here which you can see that it is taking the values and it is generating these you can see and also inside spreadsheet also this data is inserted so this is a really good application guys hopefully you will quote get to understand how to implement this all the source code is given in the description of this video thank you very much for watching this video and i will be seeing you in the next one